hi friends welcome back to laravel tutorial in this video i will show you how to take your database backup with the laravel application so this is my laravel application so we have just created this and this is the database name so just go here ajax crude so just go to the local host and slash php my admin okay so here you can see the database and just go into the database that is the ajax crude okay so here there is five tables so i want to set a dynamic backup system so how we can do this so in laravel we have a comment creation option right so we can create artisan comment and using this artisan comment we can do this so to create a comment suppose i am taking a new tab and write here php artisan make comment okay and here my comment name is suppose db backup right so console comment created successfully and if we just go to the visual studio code here we can see that is the db backup dot php so it, this is actually just created right now okay so here we can set the signature that is if i write any things into here that will be the comment so write db backup okay so if you just write php artisan db colon backup that means this file will run okay and simply i am just writing a description that is not mandatory but the good practice is always we need to write the description so that we can understand what is going to be okay so simply here write create database backup okay and let's create into the handle function so what we actually want to do we need to write inside the handle function okay so simply just to remove these things and here i will write my comment okay so simply i'm creating a variable that is comment variable and we will do the backup process so we know how to backup database so we need to write the mysql dump and then paste the user so what will be the username so just in this way so user equal to dot and inside here we'll write the username so we'll write env and from the env we'll get the username so if we just go here we can see the db username okay so in this way we'll get the db host name db database name database password right so everything we will get from the environment file okay so just here so username is done now we need to write the password okay so simply just create a space and hyphen hyphen password okay so w is missing so let's align this so word wrap and this thing so password equal to the same so write in this way so dot dot and after that we need to write the host name so just write host and the same way we will write dot dot and after that we need to write a simple space here and after the space we will write the database name so write env the database name so we'll write this and then we will just add arrow okay so let's use the password and host name and the database name so just copy here and we'll change this so here right so here write the database name so just copy this database db database and write in this way then the password so db password and the next things we need to write the host name so we are getting the host name that is db host okay so all are done and now we need to export this so to export this we need to write this rather than sign and where we will export so basically we will export into the storage so if you just go to the html 
and this is the ajax code so basically this is my project name and we'll save the sql file into here so just store it inside the app we'll create a folder suppose the folder name is backup okay and let's create the export file name so right here file name equal to anything so we need to write such type of name that should be always the unique name so write backup and i am taking the str to time of the now okay so just write the str time format so that always it will be the unique and then write dot sql okay so this will be our file name and then we need to write the storage path so basically i am providing the export path okay so this is the storage path and then we will write that is the app and backup okay so write app slash backup slash the file name okay so this is the file name okay so all are done now we need to execute the command so write exec to execute the command and here my command is dollar comment okay so all things are done now we need to set up this db backup into the kernel so if we just go inside the console we will get the kernel.php so we're going to import the db backup into here okay so just copy the namespace path that is app console comments so inside the comment section we will just simply write app console comments and then the class name so here is the class name is db backup okay so comment section is done and we need to schedule when i want to run this db backup so this is the sample so just copy this and just do it daily okay so every day it will run this command okay and here the comment will be the db backup okay so just copy this and go here and db backup okay so all things are done now we need to check whether the command is created or not so just write php artisan so if we just go here so here we have created the command that is db colon backup so just check the list so if we just go here inside the db there is a db backup create database backup so custom command is created now to run this command we need to use php artisan the command name db backup okay so in the local host actually we are running by manually but if you just upload this project into the server we can save the artisan command into the server so that we don't need to write this manually and it will automatically execute daily right so as we are writing the daily here so it will execute daily so just create enter this and here mysql dump not found so what is the error actually so we need to check so if we just go into the here and let's see so we can see the database is exported right so if you just click on this and let's see what is inside this so this is basically the blank so we don't have any file so something error in this code so just go here and let's check the command that is backup still time that's mysql dump minus minus user env db username password and the storage path so all things are right so what is the problem actually the problem is the mysql dump spelling okay so we've written the double u okay so now let's try again and just click in this so okay so the new file is created so if you just click on this we'll get the database backup is ready so we can export these things anywhere and we can use this further right so this is our backup file so that if we run this again it will create again that means it will create a daily 
backup inside your backup folder so that's simple so if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section and next day we're going to discuss about another tricks of laravel so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day